Hello y'all. I just wanted to do a quick video here and show you what I'm up to. Well, Hello y'all. I just wanted to show you what I'm up to. I am in the process of glazing a bunch of my bisque ware. And I didn't get a video of the bottom layer here, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's on the bottom. I've got some cups that are black um, as far as a base color. And on top of those black cups, I have one that's got three coats of gunmetal green, one that's covered with red gold, one that has a dip of chino, and of course I've got one that has um, four coats of blue rutile. I have also got some chino cups that have one dip, and over those I have one that's got gunmetal green, one that has red gold, one that has blue rutile and one has Timaku and then I have on that Timaku and Shino I also have Celadon on the rim not sure how that's going to turn out I have a polka dotted cup in there it's um, I have the Renaissance sea glass um, dots and then I waxed all the dots and I covered them with Shino I have a cup in there that has a leaf on the side that I did. It's in the color of cinnabar, which is a renaissance glaze. I uh, used some uh, white cascade. Um, it's actually pottery cascade. Um, it's supposed to allow the, it's supposed to cause the glaze to run a bit more if you have a glaze that is not running. So I kind of put like an inch of pottery cascade over the rim of a cup and then I applied some white I think it was white over the top of it I have I also used some stoneware wash and then washed it off as far as the leaves I used um, manganese and then I used coyote oatmeal about one and a half inches over the top of that that's what I use instead of white here okay then I have a this bowl right here that bowl has layers of blue rutile it's got chino poured and it's wax has layers of gunmetal green. Then it's been dipped in chino from the bottom up. Okay, then this plate here. It's got one dip of chino with alternating colors of blue rutile and blue, excuse me, blue rutile and gunmetal green. Then it's brushed randomly with gunmetal green on the bottom of it. I have a cup that kind of looks like a beaker. One dip of chino, gunmetal green on the bottom, and then gunmetal green dabs on the outside of the chino. Yes, I'm reading all this off of a piece of paper. I wouldn't be able to remember any of this. Also on the bottom shelf, there's a big bowl that I did with the chattering. It has the brown slip on the side. I may have shown some of y'all in a previous video. I took Renaissance sea glass and put over the, the chattering and then put a clear glaze over the rest of it so that the uh, brown slip would show up on the sides. Then I have a chattered cup with sea glass with the sea glass Renaissance glaze by itself. I also have my three pound bowl on the bottom. It has um, red gold, the color of red gold. There's three coats 
on the inside and a quarter of an inch of it on the outside. There's a gunmetal green around the stripe of it. On the bottom, it has indigo, which is a Renaissance glaze. Then I've dabbed gunmetal green all over the rim and down the sides and the insides. I have two tester bowls, which is the Chun Red. I've got about four coats of Chun Red on each one of those. Hopefully, it won't get so hot in there that it'll kind of burn out of there. I did a circle of celadon on the inside. I waxed around that to leave a swoosh, kind of, and I filled that in with Chun Red. I waxed that again. Then I did a stripe of red gold, and I waxed that, and I striped, and then used blue rutile from the top on down to meet the stripe. Four coats of blue rutile, gunmetal green, one inch over the top of the bowl, and then the bottom of the bowl where it's chattered has got indigo blue. That would be on the bottom. I have another bowl that's not pictured here that's, um, um, this, I called it a double rim bowl because I can't think of what you call it at the moment. It has a dip of chino and gunmetal green over the top and then splashes on um, inside. I guess you could tell I love gunmetal um, gun green. My mixing bowl here that you see, it has pistachio chino on the bottom where the chattering is. There's a stripe that I put gunmetal green. Um, inside and outside is pistachio chino and one inch around the rim, gunmetal green. It splashes inside of gunmetal green. There's that gunmetal green again. Um, I have a few cups here. I'm going to show you if I don't make you dizzy. These are my tree, my palm tree cups. I used an underglaze pen because I don't know if it's just a carving or what, but if I use the wash or if I use glaze over it, it just it still didn't work so I don't know we're gonna see what happens um, let's see the twined handle um, this has pistachio chino with gunmetal green over the rim yep and then this is a chino cup one dip and then this rope handle cup here. That one has shun red, has three coats in and out. Then it has three coats of blue rutile that's randomly dabbed on it. Okay, I have some test strips here. I'm just going to tell you what these are. I'm going to have a whole lot more shortly. Okay, I have indigo blue with red gold over it. I have red gold with indigo over it. I have celadon with Timoku, Tim, excuse me, Timoku over it. I have Timoku with celadon over that. I have Timoku with red gold over that. I have red gold with Timoku over it. I have indigo with gunmetal green. I have gunmetal green with indigo over it. I have indigo with Timoku over it. I have Timoku with with indigo over the Timoku. I have red gold and blue rutile over it. I have blue rutile with red gold over it. So I've just reversed colors. And I'm going to also have a chattered bowl with indigo blue on the bottom. I waxed it and put chun red. I poured the chun red. I wiped that down and then put red gold over the chattering. I waxed it and put poured the celadon over the front and the back of the rim. I'm going to have another bowl that's a chattered bowl. Well, shoot, I can show you this one. I'm trying to finish these bowls right now. Wait a minute, I actually put these in the kiln. It's been a long day. It takes me forever to try to get these bowls brushed. I filled the circle with indigo blue. I waxed that, 
and there's a curly Q in there and I filled it in with Chun Red. The bottom of the bowl has a chatter. It's in, um, it has indigo blue over it. Then I poured Celadon over the rim on the front and the back. Okay, and then this bowl here filled a circle with red gold. I waxed over an area and made a curly cue and I poured gunmetal green on the inside. I cleaned it and the bottom of this bowl has pistachio chino. There's a stripe of gunmetal green and the rim has celadon all around it with gunmetal green highlights. And I don't know if I said I poured the celadon inside as no celadon on the outside. That's right, celadon on the outside of the bowl. Okay, that is what I've got on these two shelves. I also want to show you that I have my cones in the kiln and they're ready to go. I have a five, the green one is a five, the pink is a six, and the orange is a seven. And the last time I did this, or the last time I did it, and it was the first time I'd ever done it, it was a cone six firing. And this cone here, the orange one, which is the seven, it actually um, was all the way down. So this time I am going to set it so that I don't have a hold on the load because it got extremely hot in here. Hoping that's going to help also with that chun red that it don't burn out. Well, it was about 4.07 a.m. before I got finished glazing. So I now have my kiln packed, and I mean it's packed. If you see, if you'll look around here, you'll see test strips everywhere. I don't even know how many I have, but all of them are different. And I have the spoon rest in here as well. I ended up having to move a few of these bowls to make everything fit. So I'm hoping I don't have them out of order. Hoping I'll be able to tell you what I did. But it's all on paper. Okay, well we will see you at the glaze opening. Thanks for watching.